Have you ever felt? Are you listening? Damn. Greetings fellow truth junkies. If you are new to this channel, welcome. If you are subscribed, welcome back. And let's get started. Today, I want to talk about driving. I'm sure you've heard this at least once in your life. Driving is a privilege, not a right. I've heard this many times in my life. The first time was from my fourth grade teacher. And for much of my life, I believed it. So there was always a part of me that didn't understand how it isn't a right. Members of law enforcement, government officials, school teachers, the media, they all love to tell people this. It has been repeated so often that most people just accept it as fact. I'm going to explain why this is absolutely not true and why driving is a right. Let's start with the Constitution and the Bill of Rights. When the Constitution was first adopted, the conventions of many of the states were concerned that it could be misconstrued and lead to government abusing its power. In order to prevent this, and to boost the public's confidence in this newly formed union, they wanted to add further declaratory and restrictive clauses to the Constitution. They wanted to make it clear what the people's rights are and that the rights of the people are not to be violated by the federal government or by any of the states in this union. Of course, it would have been impractical to list every single blatantly obvious right. They would have ended up with hundreds of amendments. So rather than attempting to list every right, and in order to prevent the rights they did list from being misinterpreted as the only rights of the people, they included the Ninth Amendment. This is sometimes referred to as the Unenumerated Rights Clause and, unfortunately, is one of the least discussed amendments. It says, The enumeration in the Constitution of certain rights shall not be construed to deny or disparage others retained by the people. These unenumerated rights include some of the most basic and obvious things, like the right to start a family, the right to provide for yourself or your family by foraging the land. The right to choose where you work or where you live. The right to choose what style of clothes you wear or your hairstyle. You know, if you want to rock a mullet, the government has no authority to tell you otherwise. Basically, we have the right to do anything we choose, as long as it does not violate, hinder, or interfere with anyone else's rights. That is the definition of liberty. Freedom from control, interference, obligation, restriction, hampering conditions, etc. Power or right of doing, thinking, speaking, etc. according to choice. And one of the main reasons for establishing the Union and the Constitution was to secure the blessings of liberty to ourselves and our posterity. This includes the right to freely travel upon the land, commonly referred to as the freedom of movement. The ability to freely travel from place to place is an inherent right of all people. It is a basic and fundamental necessity of a free society. This is just as true today as it was a hundred years ago or a thousand years ago. The main reason given for driving being a privilege, usually the only reason given, is that cars and trucks are faster than other means of travel we've used in the past, which makes them more dangerous. For some reason this means we should have to get permission to do it from the government. You know, I often compare the right to drive with the right to keep and bear arms. If you support the right to keep and bear arms, and you should just as strongly support the right to drive. The right to keep and bear arms is part of the right to self-defense. The means by which we defend ourselves and our communities has advanced over the centuries. As we advance from using swords and shields and bows and arrows to using guns, did that right become a privilege? No, of course not. 
In the same way that the right to keep and bear arms is part of the right to self-defense, the right to drive is part of the freedom of movement. So why would the means by which we travel, advancing from horseback and horse and buggies to cars, change that right into a privilege? It just doesn't make sense. So yes, traveling by driving absolutely is a right. Just as much as the right to keep and bear arms to defend ourselves and our communities. Just as much as the right to express our opinions via internet videos. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up. Share it with your friends and make sure to subscribe. If you think I've got it all wrong and driving isn't a right, tell me why in the comments. Also, if there's a topic or a story you would like me to talk about, let me know in the comments or hit me up on Facebook or Twitter. Links are in the description. Again, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.